When you leave somewhere terrible, do not look back. There's no nostalgia. That's, that's the letting the dead parts of yourself go. And then if you're going to follow the good, there's no excuse not to do it. And, that does, and it means no excuse whatsoever, under any circumstances. Get out there in the world and contend with it. Well, you might not get what you want, but you might find what you need. But it won't happen without the pursuit. And One who's good at making excuses is seldom good for anything else. We all make excuses. But the successful ones are those who can kill the excuses like the miserable maggots they are. I'm too tired. I don't have the time. I don't feel motivated. I'd rather do nothing. I don't have the money, equipment, space. We've all made the excuses. It's time to kill them. It's easy to come up with reasons why you won't succeed. It also ensures that you never will. But you have to stop making excuses and start succeeding. Remember that tomorrow it's a mystical land wherein 99 of all human achievement, productivity, and motivation are stored. You are the center of the world. A center of the world. It has many centers. And you do partake in this process of casting the potential of the future into the reality of the present and the past. That's what your consciousness does. And the quality of what you produce is dependent on your on the ethics of your choice. Your choice between good and evil in every moment is what determines the course of the world. And that's on you. It's like, well, that's deeply meaningful, but it's unbelievable. It's, in, it's ultimate responsibility in, in, in the literal sense. And I think that in order for us to set things right, we have to understand that we, we have to take on that burden of ultimate responsibility as if it's not only as if it's ours, which it is, but as if there isn't anything better that we could do. You'd like your life to be once the goal is established and then you break down the goal into micro processes that you can implement. The micro processes become rewarding in relation to their uh, causal association with the goal. And that tangles in your, your incentive reward system. And the way it works is that it works better if it produces positive emotion when it can see you moving towards a valued goal. Okay, well, what's the implication of that? Better have a valued goal, because otherwise you can't get any positive motivation working out. And so the more valuable the goal, in principle, the more the microprocesses associated with that goal start to take on a positive charge. And so what that means is, well, you get up in the morning and you're excited to, about the day, you're ready to go. And so as far as I can tell, what you do is you specify your long-term ideal. You do that in some sense as a unique individual. You want to specify goals that make you say, oh, if that could happen as a consequence of my efforts, it would clearly be worthwhile. Because the question always is, why do something? Because doing nothing is easy. You just sit there and you don't do anything. That's real easy. Excuses are usually made because we don't feel like doing something we're accentuating the negative. Instead, see the fun in something, the joy in it, and maintain a positive attitude, or you'll never beat the excuses. Sure, you could just lay on the couch, but if you think about why you really want to pursue a goal, you'll be motivated. That thing you've been putting off, start today. You will be confused, overwhelmed, and maybe even a bit scared. But you have to be willing to take that first step. Visualize that goal and just get started. 99% of the failures come from people who have the habit of making excuses. We have more ability than willpower, and it is often an excuse to ourselves that we imagine that things are impossible. Excuses are a powerful thing. One excuse can negate 100 opportunities. You treat yourself as if you're someone that you're taking care of. So that's the presupposition. You're valuable despite your flaws. It would be okay for you and maybe all right for the universe as a whole if your life wasn't any less, any more wretched than it has to be. So we could set it up for that. Okay, so, so now if you were looking three to five years down into the future and you could, you could have what you needed within the bounds of reason, what would it be? What do you want? What do you want from your family? What do you want from your friends? How are you going to educate yourself? What are you going to do for your career? How are you going to take care of your mental and physical health? How are you going to resist temptation? What are you going to do with your time outside of work that's productive and meaningful? You get to have it. It's like knock and the door will open. Okay, you've got to knock first. Well, and then you've got to pick the door. And like, oh, I really like this because it is... You cannot catch something you're not pursuing. So now, if you're pursuing it, that doesn't mean you'll catch it. 
but generally you'll catch something interesting along the way. Well, I would say, you know, the first decision you have to make is whether you want things to be better or worse. And it, it seems to me that better is a better aim. And if that's what you want, then you can orient yourself to becoming fully on board with that. That's your motif. And I would say that's love in the religious sense, is that love is the desire that all things flourish. And you might think that's evident. It's like it's not evident. This is hard because things are difficult. It's easy to become spiteful and bitter and resentment, resentful and to be self-denigrating and not to work for your own furtherance because you're ashamed of who you are, like deeply ashamed, maybe even ashamed to be human. The destructive species that we are, constantly raping the planet, you know, that, that self-loathing can go very, very deep. So this is, this is hard. What are you waiting for? I ask about your dreams. I wonder what it is delaying you from starting that project or top priority that you keep pushing off and procrastinating on. We should seek to destroy excuses. I'm not good enough, or I don't have enough experience. The opportunity excuse. That is my least favorite. Because there are an abundance of opportunities all around us, we just have to seek them out and find them. Fear takes away productive time and turns it into laziness. Bad fear funnels its way in like a tornado, and before we know it, it has destroyed our ambition and turned our life upside down. The ones who find happiness are the ones who don't make excuses. If it's broken, they fix it. If it's wrong, they make it right. There's no fairy coming to grant your wishes. You alone have to take action. You have to stop accepting excuses from yourself when it comes to following your passion. People do waste a lot of time and they, are, they also act counterproductively a lot of the time. Regardless, we do make progress and, 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 and we can thrive under the difficult conditions that make up our lives and we can resist the malevolence that entices us. That's within our power and we don't know the limits to that. And we also know that it's better to, we all know this, that it's better to live courageously than cowardly. Everyone knows that. That's what you teach people that you love. And, and, and we know that it's better to live truthfully than in deceit. And you can tell that too because that's also what you tell people that you love. And we know that you should pick up your responsibility and move forward. I think people are always looking for an excuse to have their character corrupted. Because if your character is corrupted, then you get to lie, and you get to cheat, and you get to steal, and you get to betray, and you get to act resentfully, and you get to do nothing, and that's all easy. It's easier to lie than to tell the truth. It's easier to do nothing than to do something. So there's always part of you thinking, well, I need a justification for being useless and horrible, because that, that'd be a lot less work. And so then if something terrible comes along, you think, aha, that's just exactly the excuse that I was waiting for. And then out all that comes. When you are willing to replace mundane excuses with hard work and your laziness with determination, nothing can prevent you from succeeding. Maturity is when you stop complaining in your life. You realize everything that happens in life is a result of the previous choice you've made and start making new choices to change your life. If you find this content interesting, then give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button below. See you in the next video.